Hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome to Rasayan Academy, all of you. So yet we are again uh, here on another name reaction video. So this is our name reaction 72 Wagner Mirwin rearrangement, and we are going very close to completing our hundred name reactions. All right, so let's start, guys. What is this very very important name reaction Wagner Mirwin rearrangement? It is the acid catalyzed alkyl group migration of alcohols to give the more substituted olefins. All right. So here the reaction is migration of the alkyl group to give you a more stable substituted olefin. That is our target. All right. So what is the driving force of the reaction? The driving force of the reaction is to get the more substituted alkene. Okay. And it will be much more clearer when you are seeing this example over here. Let's say you are having this molecule. Alright, this question guys, this wagner mirwin rearrangement has been asked plenty of times in your CSI net, GATE or any competitive examination. This is also there in your BSc level, IIT, JWE level as well. Alright, so it has been asked plenty of times everywhere. So this is your molecule, let's say. Uh, the name of this molecule is Chemphenilol. All right, it's okay if you don't have to remember this name, it's fine. In the presence of an acid, you are going to get the rearranged product in this way. Name of this alkene is Santine. All right, so how is the rearrangement going through? Let's see that quickly. This is the product through wagner mirwin rearrangement okay so what can happen guys in the presence of an acid h plus over here right over here you can make the oh a good leaving group by forming the hydronium ion in this way all right oh becomes a very good leaving group that's great let's eliminate water from here and the carbocation that you have is a secondary carbocation over here. However, if one of these methyl groups will migrate, let's say the above methyl group is going to migrate, for example, if this methyl group migrates from the 2 degree carbocation, you might get a 3 degree carbocation. Let's see. Yes, this is your methyl over here. One mole, uh, one more methyl is as it is. Positive charge comes over here. So from the 2 degree carbocation, this gives you the 3 degree carbocation. All right. Now what's supposed to happen? Now the water in the medium is supposed to take away this proton and it's going to give you this alkene molecule, the more substituted alkene. All right. However, you also have one methyl group over here. You can remove a proton from this methyl and can also give you another isomer like this. In this way, you can also get another isomer, but once again, that is not a stable possibility. All right, because it is a external exo double bond. First of all, exo double bond to the ring, and also it is going to be less uh, stable because of hyperconjugation. So both the factors are there. That is why we take the more substituted and the endo alkene molecule. Okay, so this is your major product through the wagner mirwin rearrangement. What is the rearrangement step? This one. 1, 2 methyl migration. So 1, 2 hydrogen migration, 1, 2 methyl migration, all of these reactions are basically your wagner mirwin rearrangement, carbocation rearrangement. Okay. Let's see more examples, guys. More examples of these type. You have a molecule in this way. Alright, so write the product what will happen when you have the proton. That is when you are taking acid into this molecule. What can happen guys? Uh, let's suppose that this is your wagner mirwin rearrangement. So you are going to get the more substituted alkene. You want to do elimination. So first of all, protonating the OH group. Let's say this is OH2 positive. Like this, it is going to leave and it's going to generate a carbocation over here. Alright, it is going to generate a carbocation. Now what happens is guys, this is a secondary carbocation over here, isn't it? 
and you might want to generate a more stable carbocation how are you going to do that okay so there's one thing i'm i just want to correct myself over here the all right just uh, write it once again because the double the oh bond was not correct so let's say the oh bond is above all right in the presence of h plus you are getting the camphene molecule all right now write the mechanism i hope you will be able to do this nicely all right so here you get the camphene molecule write the mechanism guys so first of all in the presence of h plus you are just going to make the oh into a good leaving group that is oh2 so write the oh2 also above in this way all right this is of a huge importance that when you have when you don't have direct methyls to migrate let's say oh2 is leaving and you want to migrate one of the groups so either this methyl could migrate or if particularly stereochemistry is mentioned that the oh is above then the bond which is endo uh, or let's say opposite to it this bond is going to migrate in this way okay this bond is going to migrate what do you get you get a new bond on this carbon and this carbon so let us just draw this will be as it is there is a methyl new bond has formed over here okay minus h2o because h2 eliminated from this side okay now what do you see guys you have to turn the molecule a little bit this can be a little bit complicated but according to me what i do is i just if the molecule is like this i just make it flat in this way isko aise rakh do right just put the molecule on this side so what are you going to see you see that you have let's say you have generated a new junction these are the two new junctions when you write this ring this is the junction and this is the bridge head carbon so here if you see these are the two junctions and this is your bridge head carbon so just draw the molecule as it is yes these are the two bridge head positions okay this is your bridging carbon where there is no um, uh, you know methyl or any other substituent the substituents are on the right hand side on this carbon look over here this is this carbon okay and the next is a methyl having a positive charge on this carbon okay so this is your overall molecule what did i just do this molecule was let's say standing like this i make it fall in this way all right just rotated the molecule a little bit all right this is what i get now since there is a positive charge over here what could happen guys in this case you might get a more substituted product but this side there is a hydrogen and it's not going to violate the bread's rule so you don't get a double bond over here here on this side you have two methyls so there is no point of rearranging and the methyl migrating over here and then removing once again koi fayda nahi hai because a proton cannot be lost so that is why the only way that you have all right so the only way that you have is to remove is to remove this proton from here to get a less substituted double bond all right then what is the driving force of this reaction you are saying ki uh, isme carbocation rearrangement bhi ho raha hai and you are not even getting a more substituted alkene then what is the driving force of this reaction yes the driving force of this reaction is ring strain all right so whenever there is a ring strain the ring will always want to rearrange and there could be more than one rearrangement taking place all right and see here this carbon was more substituted this carbon having the minimum angle and the maximum strain it was maximum substituted also and here it got free or this carbon which is let's say less uh, you know strained as compared to this molecule is more substituted better possibility you are going to look for okay so we are looking for a better possibility even if we don't get the sage product okay now 
two more questions for all of you. Two more examples. Example number three goes like this. Let's say this is your molecule. All right. Let's say this is your molecule alpha pinene system. In the presence of H plus, what is going to be the product formation? Or let's say I would say in the presence of HCl. All right. So just try it out and let's see quickly what happens. So here the H would come and here the positive charge would come because the H plus is going to be attacked by the alke alkene. Yeah. Okay. So there's a tertiary stable carbocation. Isn't it? Tertiary stable carbocation. But since the ring is strained, why is the ring strained? Which ring is strained? The ring which is present over here, isn't it? This ring is strained. So what it can do? It can migrate. ये देखो, ऐसे. This bond can migrate over here on this carbon. All right, there are three carbons only. This is how it's going to look like one methyl, one proton. From here you got a positive charge, and here the Cl minus is going to attack, and you get the final product. Okay. This bond is still above, and the other carbons are not connected from it. Ye raha apka molecule. All right. This is your rearranged product. Fourth example, which is very similar to the third example, is when you have when you have HCl added to a molecule having both the methyl as well as the OH group, like this. So in this question, you have just seen that there was a double bond. Yaha pe OH hai particularly. So what is that OH going to give? Let's see quickly. All right. Removal of water to give you a positive charge. Now, what happens is, guys, there is a positive charge. The methyl could not migrate because if the methyl migrates, there is no stability. A hydrogen can migrate. I will write one two H shift first of all. Okay. If a hydrogen migrates, you are going to get a Okay, you are going to get a stable system. This is your positive charge. This is your hydrogen over here. To the positive charge, yes, to the positive charge. Now, what can happen is, now you can do this one-two migration. This one or this one, whichever you think of, both of the both of them are same only. So you are doing the one-two migration, and after that, this bond has migrated. You get a positive charge over here. There was a hydrogen. So final product may you are going to get a Cl over here. You will get a Cl on this side. Okay, so this is your complete rearranged product. The third and the fourth are very very similar. I have deliberately taken the difference of the alkene as well as the OH. To the alkene, you add the HCl or anything like this, and then it's going to give you a rearrangement in this way. However, for alcohol, you just eliminate the OH two and then create the carbocation. So there is a difference in the product formation in the acid uh, as well as the uh uh over here yes in the presence of alkene as well as the oh okay so yes guys four important examples we have done for the wagner mirvin rearrangement i hope that you are also going to see the questions from the csi and net and gate examinations all the previous year question right which are being asked in this topic 
also visit me on an academy so that you can practice all the important questions which are being done in the special classes okay so yes guys the question is done the name reaction is done we have studied one more name reaction wagner mirwin rearrangement very very important also i'll see you in more videos like this bye everyone take care of yourself